Hello children, in our previous video we learnt about the water cycle. Water is very useful. We use lots of water every day for many purposes. We have been using water for thousands of years. Then why does all the water not get used up? Is there unlimited amount of water on the earth? No, we all know that water on earth is very very limited. We already know only 2.5% of water on earth is fresh and useful which is very less. Rest of it is salty water which is unfit for drinking, agriculture etc. Then why does all water not get used up? In fact due to water cycle the water circulates from earth to atmosphere and forms cloud. Then that water comes back to earth again as rain or snow. So we are reusing same water again and again for thousands of years. In many places people get drinking water from ponds, lakes or rivers. As we know most of the times that water is purified in water treatment plant and then sent to our houses. But still in many places specifically in rural areas people rely on water of pond, lake etc directly. Pond, lake, river etc are sources of sweet water on earth's surface. Still. In most places we see people digging well, tube wells for drinking water. Because people know there is water in underground. They use the underground water through tube well, well etc. But have you wondered how does the water go underground? Is there unlimited amount of water in underground? No. When rain falls on ground, a part of rainwater seeps through different layers of soil and reaches underground. So, if we dig deep enough, we would reach a level where all the space between particles of soil and gaps between rocks are filled with water. This topmost level of this underground water is called water table. When rainwater seeps through different layers of soil, it gets filtered several times by different layers of soil. Hence, the underground water is free from dirt and is drinkable. Even most of the lakes, ponds, which are sources of sweet surface water, are filled with rainwater. Many rivers which provides people water for many purposes get water from rain. During water cycle the water gets evaporated from seas too. Then that sea water comes down as sweet rain and fills the ponds, lakes etc. So even unusable sea water comes to us as fresh water through rain. Now we can assume there would be bad consequences if something goes wrong with this water cycle as the water cycle supplies us with water. Let us see what happens when something goes wrong with this water cycle. In India, farmer mostly depends on rainwater for agriculture. After dry summer season, the monsoon season brings rain for the farmers. But some years rain may not come or it may come late and we all know what happens then. Yes, there is a shortage of water. The rivers, ponds, lakes become dry. The soil loses its water in sun heat and it becomes dry with many cracks. The crops get spoiled and the scarcity of food and water makes all of us suffer. We all are familiar with it. It is drought. 
most of the people depend on underground water now we know the source of underground water is rain so if some year the rain doesn't come or there is very less rain the new water would not be added to the ground water but we would keep on using the underground water so what would happen the underground water level would go down that is the water table would go further down again the lesser underground water means water scarcity on the other side sometimes too much rain makes river rise above their banks and they drown the nearby land this is called flood the flood spoils crop washes away many homes and does lot of damage to people and properties not just floods the water gets logged even during heavy rain remember those days of walking through knee high water in the water logged roads we know rain water is precious but after heavy rain lots of rain water just overflows the dirty drains and goes wasted so it means we need to know water more because then we might be able to avoid this problems to some extent water is life so any problem with water cycle means lots of problem in our life that's all for today bye bye children